no heinous act goes unseen. Welcome to the Abyss Garden, a secluded land where we create endless pathways, unique cards made to help nurture your creativity and to help you develop your own stories. Today we are coming back to our tiny tales, our new video format, and I kind of try to do something a bit different today. So I went more for a, how to say that, for a liney creation, <laughs> I'm not sure how to express that, a bit more sketchy, basically. So the card we drew to create this first character for this week's tiny tale was the clouds of murmurs, which states that unseen entities follow our path. And the initial idea that I had with that was to portray kind of a, a scene, an action of a character that we don't know and to have another being kind of spy on this character. And so I tried. It's quite unusual for me to do kind of humanoid characters. So I tried to make one today with this kind of suspicious witchy lady which seems to be gathering some plants and trying to harvest something out of this ancient tree. Quite a suspicious tree itself, with a huge eye looking back at the harvester. And I also tried once again to add some depth to the drawing and to create some trees in the background and give the, the illusion of a desolated forest with a lot of ambient darkness, with some roots going from the tree to all directions. So I'm not exactly sure of the execution, as always. But I think that overall I quite enjoyed this doodle. It was quite a fun experiment to do. But that's not the main character that emerged from this scene. The main character is this faceless shadow, this faceless unknown, which seems to emerge from the gathering bag of the witch and seems to wrap around the branches of the trees and witness this forbidden harvest that the witch is seemingly trying to achieve. And yeah, I think that overall I, I quite enjoy how it ended up. So it might give me a bit more confidence to try some new humanoid characters in the future. Because for the moment, the Abyss Garden seems to be filled with unknown beings with intriguing shapes and more of a rootsy, branchy feel to them. Some of them are gooey, some of them are more organic, but not a lot of them show these signs of having human limbs and having overall a human body. And so from this first scene, there will be five more coming in the following days. This first iteration of this tale we get a new card, a new pathway, which is called the Forbidden Harvest, and which states that no heinous act goes unseen. I do try, sometimes, to go a bit against the flow of my own psyche and my own thoughts. I don't usually use these kind of sentences in pathways that are seemingly quite Descriptive, I'm not sure how to explain that. Usually I try to, a bit like if you were to give a card reading or to offer an omen to someone, I often try to put on some kind of overall truth, of overall point of view that could be applied to a lot of different situations in order, to, in order for it to be easier to use as a story tool as a way to bend your story and to kind of help you think of new events that might unfold with your characters and your adventures. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I'd be, as usual, as always, I'd be really curious to know what kind of events or what kind of stories would unfold from this card and what kind of things it might brought to your creative endeavors if you ended up using them. I'd really enjoy if you would send me a, a message if you have ideas about that. 
But in the meantime, I'm gonna wish you a nice day. And I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation of this tiny tale. To see where our new character ends up.